But well beyond the borders of 90210, all across the country are places with zip codes that nobody knows. The deeply poor neighborhoods where if you are born, your chances of thriving are greatly diminished. The big question today for us is what do we do about these places? This transformation of places from neglected, stigmatized, or dumped on into prime real estate might have been then homesteading, urban renewal, slum clearance, revitalization, community building, and even gentrification. I would challenge you all to ask yourselves, do we have breaks in place on our neighborhood revitalization strategies? I can't emphasize the education component enough and while this, this conversation around don't move and if somebody comes to buy your house, give the city a call, it is huge. So I think at the federal level, we really need to think about how to reach very low income families. If it's not going to be hard unit public housing, which has been on the decline, then what is the next thing? And if we're gonna to get to that place, it means that existing residents have to have voice and they have to have choice. If they don't have voice and choice, it's unlikely they're gonna end up better off than they were. For every $100 in monthly rent increase, homelessness increases by 15%. And we uh, raised our city's minimum wage to $15, one of the first uh, cities to do that. It was a recognition that the income inequality gap in our country and in our cities in particular uh, is growing at an exponential rate.